Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Boring everybody to tears. We're reviewing Jaws of Satan. Also known as King Cobra. And if the latter title seems more appropriate, let me assure you, Jaws of Satan is the most apposite title of any film we've reviewed. It's as if I were looking into the face of Satan. The story is set up with a Bible verse. Which can be summarised as, even Satan deserves a holiday, and the rest of the film details what Ferris Lucifer does with his day off. Escaping from the box into which he was rather unfairly reincarnated, <laughs> He terrorises a small town who have no idea what's going on. It sounded something like a uh, stake or quake. Yes, I expect he was bitten by a stake. Probably snake. That does seem more likely. But all this is preamble, as the devil has a very definite victim in mind. So that the Druid High Priest pronounced a curse upon Ophara and all his children, on and on. Two things spring to mind. It seems weird pagan druids are summoning Satan. Weird. Weird in what way? And if Satan has only just been released for a limited period... I found violent deaths, bizarre incidents, strange disappearances every third generation. Then who killed them? It doesn't add up. And that's because this film is an uneasy marriage between two very obvious influences. Jaws... Lives are in danger here. I'll take that risk. And The Exorcist... Your strongest weapon is your faith in God. Jaws of Satan. See? Told you. I think I understand everything now. Dr. Maggie Sheridan is our chief Brody. When she gets out of her depth... Voila. Christ. She calls in an expert. Uh, There's supposed to be Dr. Sheridan who picked me up here. He send you? I'm Dr. Sheridan. Whoops. Bad start. Hey, listen, I don't want to offend you, but... Since I already have... You might be overreacting. As women are prone to. I don't know how to cope with it. Jackass though he is, this is our Richard Dreyfus scientist character. Although, I would question his scientific method. <laughs> this snake was waiting for Maggie in the shower. Oh, no. Where did it go? You cannot simultaneously imbue a snake with intelligence enough to lay an ambush and stupidity enough to wander away from it. It then confronts her, and I look forward to how this strong, resourceful woman will... <laughs> ...cower, whimper and phone a man. The snake just waits while he drives over from his hotel. That was the expert advice we were waiting for? Shut up. Back to Jaws. Naturally, there's a town meeting. Well, what do you know? At which... I was nearly killed by a giant snake. You'd get their attention better if you drew your fingers down a blackboard. But the mayor isn't willing to listen to reason. Keep your faces shut till that track opens. In Jaws, the 4th of July celebrations go ahead with much fanfare. And a child is attacked. Seriously, it's Jaws. But 4th of July can't be moved. Why couldn't the opening of a dog track be postponed until the killer snake problem was handled? Beats me. As for the exorcist... The snake was the first form that Satan ever took. The town is under attack by many snakes, but they are supervised by one. And we know who that is. It is Satan! But could you pick it out from the other snakes? Yeah, that's him. I know this one's a cobra and the others are rattlesnakes, but the whole police sketch vibe 
still makes that seem silly. Now the characters converge separately on a cavern. And the snakes just ignore him. Next. Ideal dress for this excursion. How did it get her to lie down like that? She just capitulates as soon as a snake shows up. Next. Satan! What? The power of Christ compels you! You've got to feel for Satan. You get one holiday in millennia and you piss it away. Thanks for watching. This film was suggested to us by one of our Patreon supporters, so thanks to Hidden Trail Video. Jaws of Satan is unquestionably a mashup of Jaws and The Exorcist. Which unlikely films would you like to see paired up into one ridiculous movie? Let us know in the comments below.